so in this video uh, we'll see how to design a list uh, in a SAP UFF application in the web ID and the list will be bound to the JSON file so let's start let's create a project from template so you can select a SAP UFF application next you can give your name as fraud list you can give name as fraud some details list namespace we can give as fraud you can give the view name as product next create Only take a while to create all the project folders. Okay. So this is our project, and this is our login. This is our view. This is our login. And what we can do now? We can open our to XML, and straight away we can execute or run our project you can select index.html and here it is yeah so we can change the title of the application so this is our view and the page the page has been just idea so in the IE folder this is the title you can see the product information something and we have control s to save this one and we can replace the refresh so the page title appears here and we will design a list here so and the list will be bound to a json file and what we can do in the model folder of our project we can create a json folder we can name it as product dot json so already I have a JSON file here. I can just copy and I can put it here. So here the JSON object name is broad and it contains five set of information. If you all are no name value pairs, so it's a product ID name, product category, description, price, and currency. Similarly, we have five sets of data here. Yeah. So these are so next thing what we can do we can create a model which will point to this file and the model is going to be created in the manifest.json file so basically the manifest.json full file contains three sections the sap app sap ui sap .ui five section and in the sap .ui five section what we can do we have a model section and what we can do we can create our own model so we can name it as mprod and what we can do here can have something yeah we'll give a type also we also give a URI and Let's close it here and close here. So type is sap dot y dot model dot JSON dot model and URI so it will point to this full file so it is under model color and it is product dot so when we will refer to this model that means it will point to this json file under this model folder so now coming back to our view here we will design a list here so now this time we will not write the code but we will we'll go back to our project explorer section and this is our our 
uh, per project is for details list so this is our for details list and here we can what we can do we can go to our project explorer we can open the product view which will open the layout editor huh? so this is our page so everything so what we can do so this is our the available uh, controls here so what we can do we can go to the list section and we can we can we can have the list here we have the tables we have standard list selection list everything so in this time we will see how to design this list and if i click on here so in this question mark button or i put the cursor over here so the the details the information pop up comes up here so what we can do we can just make a copy drag and drop it here on our page so now so if I go back to my view XML normal, so if you see now this code automatically appears here. So here what we can do. So here we can do, we can bind the items. So the model is employed and the JSON object name is broad prod so that's what we can mention here so next class this is broad this is down here we point so now so if i go to the editor list what we can do here so so already we can we can already we will let's see how how the how it uh, appears here So now we have five. So in so in the in the model uh, we have five five sets of data. That's why five rows are coming. So the known information are coming because we have not bind the specific field to this one. So if I go to here, here it is coming as title and description. So it is just a hard coded text that appears here. That's what here. All are same, and we have icon here. So now this time we'll change this one. The title I want to display the product name as the here. So let's say it will appear here. If I we can change the here. So now the title is bound to the product name. So if I go and if I do a refresh, so yeah. So this is the product name is appears here we can see we can see the uh, projection so this is our product name g1 t1 g2 so this is the that's what appearing here so in the description section what we can do we can go to the editor in the description section we can put as a product ID. we can take as a this thing as a we can display the product id itself So we can do a save if I refresh this one so it is going to display the so it is going to display the uh, title as the product name and the description as the product ID so here we can change the icon also so we have icon section here so if I go icon search for something yes there is a mobile click this one so here I do with XML so everything is changed here so the icon becomes text on mobile this here the icon is going to change now yeah so the icon what we can do here So it is coming here and what we can do some other things we can also see here. Okay. We can set something called active icon. Active icon or 
when the icon something we select the icon is going to change i can select something Select something, this icon is not going to change, it is still the mobile. So you can see icons here. So let's say active from some icon, I can select this is the active icon. So I have to control save here. So I can refresh it. If I select something, so so the icon is changed. If I select something now, this icon is going to change. So this icon is changed. Okay, fine. Selecting anything, this icon just changed. Now, okay, let's So so also we can display some kind of uh, additional info. So let me say that the info is going to be uh, product what we have in the product in the opens product description let's uh, something here we have description category and thing so what we can do Information we can see the product category yeah. is going to be in the uh, right side of the list, and we can state the information. If you are going to make a success, it will come as a green. Uh, if it is an error, it is going to come as a uh, red. So you can do so. Fresh. So now it is uh, sorry. This is the product category. So uh, which appears in uh, green color because this is a success message and success state. And also we can make something as a red, so which will appear as in the red color. We can see the color of the text here. So actually this text could be something meaningful and something dynamical. Dynamic the text content can be dynamic, which is actually. Uh, determined by formatter the track for this uh, video we are just taking this uh, category which is oh, so that we know we can have additional information we can display it's not updated we can save and if I do refresh Yes, in a red color. 